hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly we have um square root of x square root of 2 equal to 4 right okay so the first thing is to square both sides so we have um square root of x square root of 2 both squared and then 4 will be squared. Remember, if you do the same thing on both sides, it will not change an equation. Now, this and this will cancel each other so that x root 2 will be equal to 4 squared. And 4 squared is um, 16, not 8. Okay, so the next thing is for me to square both sides again, right? So x root 2 will be squared. And that will be equal to 16 squared. And by the way, I'm squaring both sides again because I need to remove this square from here. This square root from here. Now, this x, okay, let me take a step further. This is the same thing as x squared multiplied by root 2 squared. And equal to 16 squared is already 256, right? Now, this and this can now cancel. So that um, x squared multiplied by 2 will be equal to 256. Now divide both sides by 2 and divide this by 2. This is going to cancel this. And then x squared is simply equal to um, 128, right? Okay, but then there is something again we have to eliminate this square root from here this square from here as well and we do that by squaring both sides so we square x squared and it will be equal to a positive or negative square root of 128 right but then this and this can now cancel as we have x to be equal to positive or negative square root of 128 but then we can simplify square root of 128 so that we have 64 multiply by 2 and what i have done is to bring out the highest perfect square in 128 and that is 64 right now square root of 64 is what i will get now x is equal to positive or negative square root of 64 is um, 8 and then we have root 2 being multiplied right now what does this mean let's proceed this means that um, x is equal to plus 8 root 2 or minus 8 root 2 now let's try to check to know if the two of them will satisfy the given equation remember one of them may not satisfy right the original equation is this square root of x square root of 2 equals 4. now we have two values for x the first is 8 root 2 let's put it in that means you're going to get square root of um, x now is 8 root 2 then multiply by root 2 again in that bracket multiply by in that square root sign root 2 now if we process this will this give us 8 okay will this give us 4 let's go now this is the same thing as 8 multiply by root 2 times root 2 is supposed to give us root 4 right but then 4 is a perfect square so we can find its square root so we have 8 root 8 multiplied by 2 because square root of 4 is 2 and this is going to give us square root of 16 which is giving us 4 and that is what we got in the original equation meaning that x equal to 8 root 2 satisfies the given equation now if I pick the second value of x which is minus 8 root 2 let's see how it won't satisfy the given equation now the original equation remains x root 2 
equals 4. Now our x is minus 8 root 2, then multiply by root 2, right? Okay, so if I multiply this, I have negative um, 8. Okay, then multiply by 2. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4, like I got before. And at the end of the day, we're going to have minus 8 times 2 because square root of 4 is 2. Okay, now this means we have minus 16 in the square root which should be equal to, remember, this is the same thing as 16 multiplied by square root of, my, um, square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1. What I've done is to just, is to point out or bring out the negative from there, so that we can find the square root of um, 16, which is 4, and then square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number, which is i. Okay, so this means that instead of having 4 here, okay, we are having 4i, which means that it does not satisfy the given equation as it led to um, complex number. So, x is equal to square root, 8 square root of 2 is what satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching.